channel my name is Diana if you're new if you're not new welcome back also welcome to Santa Monica Beach I just got done with a workout and I picked up a coffee and I'm heading to of course Trader Joe's before you click out of this video make sure to subscribe also before you click out of this video it's gonna be a really fun vlog so I feel like you should stay we have a couple of loose plans for the weekend that I'm pretty excited for. Today we're gonna go try out this new restaurant in Brentwood called, I think, Gemma de Mer. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm pretty excited. And then tomorrow, I'm hoping for a beach day. I need to get a tan. When I went to the gym this morning, the skies were blue. It was so sunny and so nice out. And I'm not sure what happened, but now it's very gloomy. We're near a Third Street Promenade right now, so I think I'm gonna make a quick little pit stop, and then we'll head over to Trader Joe's, and then we're gonna go home. And we're gonna shower, we're gonna get ready for the day, and edit videos. All right, I got what I needed. I needed to, to yeah. I needed to refresh my underwear drawer, so stocked up and now we are heading to Trader Joe's. I just came home and I thought that I was gonna come home and have to like do all of this crazy cleaning in the kitchen because yesterday I made dinner and I didn't clean after and I came home to a beautiful and clean whoa, kitchen and I'm so happy. That was like the nicest thing ever. Mihai did all the dishes and now all I have to do is just like surface clean like the living room and tidy up our bedroom and then clean up the bathroom and donezo. So that was the sweetest thing ever. But like I said, I stopped by pink. I just got some underwear because definitely needed a refresher and I'm gonna go through my drawer right now and get rid of a couple. Every time that I get new underwear, I just like to get rid of a couple of old ones that I'm like sick of wearing or they're just very old. And then I also got this little body mist, it was just $4, and I'm gonna keep this in my gym bag so that I could just like spray myself after the gym or before the gym. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but realistically speaking, all I wanted was to get powdered sugar and some burrata. I had this dream the night before yesterday that I was eating prosciutto and burrata, and all I've been thinking about is prosciutto and burrata. So I got the prosciutto from Trader Joe's. I have some in my fridge, but I didn't get burrata. So Trader or Target, I stopped by Target and I picked some burrata up, and I also needed some powdered sugar. There's this like viral lemon brownie that's going around on TikTok that I've been seeing a lot lately and I really want to remake it. And then I'm basically out of dish soap. So I picked up a new one and I needed some pepper. I normally get like the kind that you crack yourself. This is all Target had. And then I got one more Kim K Alani. These are really good. And um, normally I never get Alani energy drinks because I find them too sweet. But I tried this yesterday and it actually is great. It's not too sweet at all. And it tastes like a white monster, in my opinion. So I'm gonna make some food super quick, tidy up, turn on a podcast, just listen to that while I clean and eat. And then I'm gonna shower and get to editing. I have like a decent amount of videos that I need to edit, including TikToks. So it's gonna be a good and productive Friday. All right, I made some bone broth, so I'm gonna drink that first and then I'm gonna eat. I have chicken sausage and some scrambled eggs. Unfortunately, I still cannot find a single sriracha anywhere. So I'm going to have some Cholua on my eggs. Quite frankly, I'm very upset, very upset because like I mentioned, so I chose my favorite hot sauce, so I can't believe I can't find it anywhere. Whoa! Professor Snape, what if the you still believe 
All right, I just did a quick power clean of the kitchen and the bathroom. Everything is so nice and tidy and I love, love, love. It's like the biggest sense of pleasure when things are clean. I just need to vacuum and I'll do that after I shower. I'm gonna put on a face mask because I wanna look phenomenal today because it's Friday and I wanna look good. This mask from Sephora is so nice and it's so clarifying which I just I just love. I love how my face looks every single time that I use it. So I'm just gonna put this on my face right now and I made like a double shot of espresso just because I want to, you know, be wild. Um, but I think I'm gonna pour some water in here because it's a double shot. I don't wanna just drink it. I wish I had a brush. I really should invest into just like a, a mask brush instead of using my hands all the time. If you're wondering what I'm always listening to on my phone, I always swap between audiobooks and podcasts. When I'm in the mood just to like listen to something that just makes me happy and I don't want to like take the time to look for like a new audiobook, I literally just listen to Harry Potter. I know, I know, I'm a child, but whatever, it's my favorite, it's my favorite book and it brings me back to childhood and it just makes me very happy. So if you're wondering what's always playing in the background, most likely that, or like I said, a podcast. I listen to a lot of Andy Priscilla. I listen to Ed Milet. I listen to The Skinny Confidential. I also listen to a lot of Crime Junkie. It really just depends on the mood that I am in. All right, I'm gonna let this sit. You would have been very surprised if I hadn't been embarrassed, arrogantly. Spirit, he addressed him Harry. If we don't hear these people marching up for a moment with a gnarled hand, said, he smiled. Jim Dale. He's I'm just going to do like a quick little pulse shower self care. I really need to drink my water because my skin is not happy. I'm praying that the sun comes out. I swear it's been coming like in and out all darn day and it's so annoying. I should trim my eyebrows. I'm trying to not really pluck them because I want to go get them threaded but the problem is every time I get them threaded I'm like very upset because they never listen to me I say keep them thick don't take off too much stay like outside of the brow I just want cleanliness and they're like no you want thin eyebrows don't you so I'm kind of scared to do it these are the main products that I like to use post shower and my eyelash curler first and foremost my cooling eye balm which I love it really does help. After this, we are going to go chug a bottle of water. Grande Lash Serum Eyebrow Gel. After that, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Before we get into editing and working, which I'm planning on doing, and I need to check if that girl from Upwork responded to me. I wanna make those viral lemon brownies. There's no chocolate. I want to make those because I feel like me, I would love them. I love lemon, like lemon, lemon, give it to me. I love it. I'm going to be using regular flour and every time that I use regular flour when baking, it just does not turn out right, but we're not going to think about that. Fingers crossed, it's going to turn out perfect. I'm not gonna waste any ingredients. And I'm also gonna turn on Sex in the City because it's Friday and I need to like get a little bit more lively right now. This is ridiculous. I'm over here complaining about my skin and complaining about the weather when I literally have everything that I need in my life to be happy. Stop complaining. Just be happy. Choose joy, Diana. Choose joy. We're gonna make some lemon brownies. It's gonna be great. They're gonna be delicious. We're gonna sit down and get a bunch of work done. You're gonna feel so good, so productive. And then on top of that, you are going out with a hot ass man tonight. And you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna eat some good food. You're gonna dress up really cute. You're gonna feel hot and everything is gonna be great. Everything is Good. Your eyebrows do not bother you. They don't look dumb. You are fine. Calm down. Calm down. Sometimes you just need to give yourself a reality check. I'm so... I'm not gonna say that. See, I was literally going to degrade myself and call myself dumb, and I'm not dumb. I just forgot to buy cotton pads at Target, even though that's literally... I've been needing those for, for like a week now, just like those cotton balls so that I could like wipe my face with micellar water is that what you call it micellar water i don't even know 
Okay, I don't know. English is not my first language. I need to go get those. I don't know why I didn't buy a bottle of wine. I don't want any of the ones that I have at home. Anyways, yeah. I feel like I was gonna say something. I have like a couple of things. I, I have like a notes in my phone and it's like a running tab of all of the things that I'm out of that I need to buy but whenever I get to the store I never check it and I just try to go off the top of my head clearly it's not working for me so I need to stop doing it also they're doing construction in front of our house they've been doing this for all week actually and it is horrible it is terrible I'm so sick of it why am I paying premium prices to live in a construction zone ridiculous what could you possibly be doing over there other than making a mess. We're feeling a little sassy today, aren't we? I already put on lip balm. I'm just gonna put this one on because it's like pink and pretty. This has honestly turned into my favorite lip balm that I own. It's not even a lip balm, it's like a quote unquote lipstick. And when we go, it's an after glow lip balm. Yeah, it is a lip balm. When we go to Sephora to pick up the things that I need because I'm out of, I want to look into NARS because I've never really like browsed the section and I want to get like one more thing because i really really like nars it's just like it makes your lips look so like pretty and pink and i i don't know what it is there's no hyaluronic acid in here or anything like that but it makes me feel like they kind of get a little bit more plump and i have really thin lips so i feel like i need all the help i can get since our skin is struggling i'm gonna use a little bit of this actually i should be using this every day because i feel like when i'm when i use it regularly it does make my skin not as like red and as blotchy i turned on sex in the city the very first season very first episode and it's advertising the very latest season and very latest like what's going on and stuff and just like that i refuse to watch that show because i started watching it when it first came out and i was absolutely destroyed it was the most traumatic thing that I've ever experienced. Absolutely not, I'm not gonna watch that. I keep seeing it everywhere and I refuse. I just, I refuse because the one of the best characters on the show is gone. I don't know why they decided to ruin the show like that, but they decided to get rid of Mr. Big and they decided to put Aiden in there and it's like, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. And I don't understand that was like when I stopped watching, when he passed away and then I was I'm like, nope, I'm not watching anymore. And I'm very upset with Miranda. I don't understand why she decided to cheat on her husband and all of a sudden she's into women. And it's like, everything is changing and I'm not here for it. I'm just going to live in my, um, in my pleasant little bubble of not knowing what happened with that show and in my heart and my mind i'm going to remember things as they as they ended off with with carrie being with big everybody's happy everybody's doing good before we get started and start baking i'm going to chug my water that i mentioned it's always hard to chug cold water first and foremost we're going to combine one cup of sugar it says one and one fourth and i'm like here wondering do i follow the recipe to a tea to make sure it turns out good because otherwise i'll be very upset if it doesn't and i think you know what i think i will all right so one fourth cup of sugar it's just that I don't like things too sweet. That's like the problem. And then we're going to, I'm just gonna use this salt. Hopefully it's not too salty. A fourth teaspoon of sea salt. Fourth teaspoon. Zest of two lemons. You're supposed to rub the sugar with the lemon zest. All right, so that's what it's looking like. So you literally just take it and you rub everything together with your hands. It smells so good. We're gonna add two whole eggs and two large egg yolks, whisking by hand until smooth and slightly thickens. One. 
I'm gonna save the egg whites. One egg yolk, two egg yolks. Okay, we're gonna mix until it thickens. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Pour melted butter into the mixture and whisk well to combine. So it's supposed to be melted butter, however, it's not supposed to be warm because then your eggs will curdle. So this is softened, but I don't think that's good enough. One fourth cup of lemon juice. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I'm struggling, holy cow. Here is the melted butter lemon juice. And then we're just gonna whisk it until it's well combined. I need two cups of flour. I'm actually out of flour, so I need to take this and put it in two and one fourth cups of all purpose flour, one half teaspoon of baking powder. So I have baking powder here. I'm just gonna do the teaspoon. Sifting flour is a hobby of mine. Do you see this little mountain? Prayers are appreciated because baking is not my strong suit. Let's get this bad boy into the oven. So the brownies are done and they look pretty good. I just hope that the like the inside tastes good obviously because like I said, I struggle with baking with real flour. So this has to cool completely. So I'm gonna give it about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna make the glaze and then it has to set for about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's wait. I just don't have the patience. So I kind of waited and my phone died. I, I set a timer for like 10 minutes and I put it in the fridge. Hopefully that doesn't like mess anything up. But anyways, my phone died, so I don't remember the exact recipe for the glaze, but I'm just gonna try to wing it. So wish me luck. But honestly, I have high hopes for this, and I know that I shouldn't have high hopes for this because I'm not always the best baker, but today I am going to not degrade myself. I'm a great baker, this is gonna work out. I'm going to do one cup. I remember seeing something about two cups, but I just feel like that's a lot. Maybe I'll even do, well, it's supposed to be very thick. That's what it said. That's all I remember. Something about extremely thick. Oh my goodness. It literally turned into a glaze. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know if I should glaze it on this plate or if I should transfer it to a regular plate. On second thought, let's do it on this card cutting board so that I could actually cut it. I feel like it's not as thick as it should be because I use so much less of the powder. I'm just gonna make sure to get every corner. It's supposed to set for 10 minutes and I'm going to grate some fresh lemon zest on top. All right, I feel like she looks like a beautiful, beautiful queen outside of this mess that I have just made here. We're going to cut this and do a taste test. I really didn't work out with my headphones today. Two instances. Once I was next to two guys, and the other time I was next to them. We're talking about it's amazing. No. Yeah. No. Do you want a middle piece or an end piece? And pieces are the best pieces. Those are my least favorite pieces. I'm gonna give this to me. I have to try. Middle and you get the crust. I know I hate crust. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. The glaze is actually sensational, so I feel like I should have added the full amount. And, yeah, it's just phenomenal, 10 out of 10. Upon further reflection, <sighs> baking those brownies was a terrible idea because they are so freaking good. And all I wanna do is sit and just eat all of them. Mihai's already eaten a quarter of it already. <laughs> they are so good, the texture is perfection literally the only thing that i would change is next time i want to make them a little bit sweeter 
and I definitely want to add more lemon because it's pretty lemony but I love lemon so I feel like more lemon zest would have been a good idea I think the problem is that I used an old lemon and a new lemon so the first one was not as flavorful as the second one I'm going to do a very light makeup situation so disgusting outside and I genuinely think that's like kind of what's bothering me it's fine we're fine setting spray I'm gonna do something that I normally don't do or I haven't done in a while I'm going to use my face filter it's like the blurring and moisturizing primer by Tula because like I said face is kind of bothering me and I think I'll do this one no I'll do this one I do really really like this a lot actually because I feel like it really does blur things out it's not too heavy so it doesn't feel like you're wearing like foundation or anything like that i'm obviously not a makeup guru i know nothing i don't even watch makeup videos i just like go with it concealer which i love this next up my favorite we're going to use highlighter. I hate when like pretty makeup gets dirty. I need to clean some stuff out of here. I feel like I always start off with like a too little highlighter and then I add a little bit more and it's way too much. So we're gonna try to be careful. But I just really like, I really, really like highlighter. I'm gonna use this tart toasted and I'm just gonna use a little bit of the candle for my um, under eye blush all right let's go get dressed because I still don't know what I'm wearing I was really counting on the weather to change Okay, don't mind the mess, but this is what I'm wearing. These Dolce Vita heels, this satin dress from Aritzia, and then I have a matching um, a blazer over from H&M that actually looks so good. Let me show that to you. We are off to the restaurant and then after that we're going to come back home and I think I'm going to change into a pair of sneakers, be a little bit more casual and I think we're just going to go sit somewhere at, like at a bar or something because our reservations are so early, they're at 5 so yeah. But anyways, I will see you at the restaurant. We are going to the gym right now. I just got ready. It is gloomy outside and neither one of us is very happy about that. But we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna go get a workout in and potentially play some frisbee, but we'll see. And then we will 
I don't know, I think we're gonna play play everything by ear today. So yesterday we ended up going to Gemma de Mer. Make sure to follow me on TikTok for my review of it because I'm gonna start doing reviews of the restaurants that I go to and it will be 100% real, authentic opinions and ratings like no sugar coating anything the restaurant that we went to yesterday was like a sister restaurant of this place called ospi which we love in venice so kind of had high expectations and it was a bad idea to have high expectations because do you want pre-workout i guess we'll have it i'm just gonna make it it was a bad idea to have high expectations because the restaurant wasn't blessed it was like in some sort of plaza in Brentwood, which I felt like made it like less intimate and less less nice. It was cute inside. We ended up sitting at the bar. It was dead. And we got a couple of spritzes, which were pretty good. And then we got a couple of appetizers, an entree. You're gonna need to watch the TikTok to hear the full story, but we're giving it we're giving it a six to seven out of ten. So that was that and then we came home and I changed into sneakers because I was in heels and we went to Wabi and we had a drink there and it was super nice and then we were wild and we got What are they called? Soft serve. Soft serve at McDonald's. Haven't had one of those in I want to say like I don't even know how long. The last time I remember having one was in seventh grade So definitely a long time back Again, I just showered, I just blow dried, blow dried my hair. I have no idea what to wear because <sighs> this weather is just weird. But it looks like the sun's coming out, so I don't know, we'll see. But I'm just gonna do a very light little makeup situation. Definitely gonna keep it super light because we're gonna be walking around a lot and it's like stuffy outside. So I don't want my face to like sweat or anything like that. Little makeup bag. I'm also gonna crimp my hair, so don't mind how it looks right now, please. Setting spray. I love that setting spray. Next up, we're gonna use our Tula Under Eye Cooling Balm. We just had some watermelon, and Mihai made us smoothies since we worked out fasted, and we ended up not going to Juista like we usually do because it was kind of late. Had a big smoothie, added lots of protein in there, and collagen, berries, banana, coconut water, just like the usual recipe that I make, except he made it. I love this weather. Makes my soul happy. Good morning. I'm so tired today because last night's sleep was terrible. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm injured. I brought my camera with me, but I was so focused on making a TikTok of just like what we were doing on the west side. So be sure to follow me on TikTok so that you could see that. I was neglecting my camera and I was pretty annoyed by that. I was like, man, why can't I just like try to, you know, maintain both so i don't think that i recorded very much on my camera is my point we went out on the west side we had such a good time we went to my favorite bar grand blanco and then we decided to like you know mix things up and we were like let's take a scooter and let's go to playa and go to this like nice restaurant that we've gone to once before so we've scootered like a gazillion times together we always scooter together and yesterday we were scootering in marina and there was like a lot of water on the ground and the bike ended up slipping so we both fell i really like scratched myself up and i am pretty high maintenance when it comes to that kind of stuff like i've never hurt myself i've never you know like broken a bone or fallen or like any of that kind of stuff like i'm a little princess when it comes to that i just can't i don't i don't like I mean, obviously nobody likes hurting themselves, but I'm not, you know what I mean? I was just like, really like, oh my gosh, like I'm bleeding, what do I do? Fell in front of a hotel 
and the valet guys like quickly ran over and they're like oh my gosh do you need help do you want ice blah blah, blah. i ended up going into the bathroom in there and i cleaned myself up mihai was like let me take you home like he felt so bad i was just like i'm not gonna let this ruin our night so we ended up going to the whaler which is one of my favorite places in la it's just such a lively place so we had some aperol spritzes there some fries and then we ended up going to this place called venice beach wines which was phenomenal and that was our first time there it was so good i had the best steak sandwich ever they have like natural wine there mean cheese boards it was such a good time basically my arm was bothering me all night is my point so i didn't sleep very good it is sunday happy sunday i think we're gonna go and get some food hopefully because i'm pretty hungry <laughs> I just got done taking myself out on a little date. I guess I'll just hold it. I went to Justa, which is my favorite bakery here in LA. And I just sat there, had a coffee, had a cappuccino, had some pastries. Mihai went to the gym and I just had a little me time. And I read my Kindle and it was so nice. I had a chocolate croissant and a blueberry scone, both delicious and now i'm gonna go drive over to whole foods and pick up some groceries so just having myself a nice little sunday morning and i'm loving it what's better than spending time with either your favorite person or with yourself i'm here for it i need to do more of more of this more often anyways let's go to whole foods all right, just came back from grocery shopping and I got a lot of goodies. So let me show you everything that I have. Two mangoes and a lot of peaches. I'm really trying to up the fruit situation. Milk, I settled for like the smaller ones since I feel like I never go through the large one. And then coconut water for smoothies. Bananas so that they could sit and then I could freeze them for smoothies a large container of dates these ones are our personal favorite detox tea also a staple these tomatoes are superior they're so good apples avocados i got a ton of meat i got two containers of chicken wings chicken breast and some ground beef venison actually which i've never had before so i'm looking forward to trying it but i'm not going to show it to you because it's gross got grapes we had some grapes yesterday at dinner when we had like our little charcuterie thing and i was like i don't remember the last time i had grapes so i picked them up eggs chocolate for the week coconut and this cherry almond one and this chocolate is great because it has good ingredients except this one it has sunflower oil yogurt for yogurt bowls and smoothies this one's just plain this one is vanilla bean and this one's so so good some parmesan cheese for pasta i got my favorite caesar dressing i want to make a caesar salad this week dijon mustard because we're out frozen fruit for smoothies butter lettuce for caesar salad cherries i got some coleslaw so that i can make i really want to make fish tacos this week but there was no fish at whole foods today like it was all frozen i didn't want to get a frozen one so i'll have to stop by trader joe's and get some uh fresh cod japanese sweet potatoes one of these and that is it that's the grocery haul I'm gonna, oh, I got a melon too. That's it, that's it. Minor details. How is it? Try. I love a full fruit basket. Mihai just made me the best smoothie. It was actually so good. And I already chugged it, so I can't show it to you. But anyways, I just added some more 
bananas to freeze in this bag and then i also we had some like leftover strawberries from the week and some peaches that i just throw into another freezer bag so i'm just gonna pop this into the freezer so it's nice and prepped for the week Also, on another note, I got gifted a new protein that I am so excited to try out. It is by this brand called Earth Chimp, and it's an organic vegan protein shake mix in the flavor of chocolate. On their site, it said that chocolate is their most popular one. So everything in this protein is actually really good quality. There's organic pea, organic pumpkin, organic sunflower, and organic coconut. There's cacao, there's an organic fruit blend with dates, banana, agave, flax, there's probiotics, digestive enzymes, there's monk fruit, cinnamon, and turmeric, which I am so, so freaking here for. There's 120 calories per serving, and there's 20 grams of protein. I'm going to have the link to this protein in my description box below for you guys if you're also interested in trying it out but maybe tomorrow we'll try to make the drink together and I'll give you a taste test. Mihai patched me up again today and it hurts. Like it actually hurts. I know I'm being a baby but it legitimately hurts. Mihai and I just went to one of our favorite bars. Wow, I look weird and I look naked, but I'm not. We went to one of our favorite bars in Beverly Hills and we had a drink and now we're stopping by one of my high friends places really quick and then we're gonna go and look for food because we're both starving. woke up kind of late honestly I woke up at 6 and then I snoozed snoozed till 6 30 and then um, I snoozed again till 6 50 so I just did an entire power clean because I left the house a mess last night when I went to bed so I just cleaned the kitchen cleaned the living room threw some laundry in did the bed and I also tidied up the balcony because all of the construction that they've been doing has made my balcony disgusting and I'm so over it. I kind of woke up in a, I don't want to say a sassy mood, but just like a I'm not here for it kind of mood. And I'm going to try to change that mindset because I don't want to start the week off on the wrong foot. Cleaning definitely helps me because it's very therapeutic for me. Now I'm going to sit on the balcony before they straight start the construction and I'm gonna journal and kind of set some intentions and goals for the week. I have to do a little bit of computer work and I have to, hopefully, I'm gonna check my Upwork and see if I got any responses back from last week and I need to edit videos. So that's going to be the plan for today and also I'm gonna go to the gym a little bit later today. I think we're gonna have the guys come and fix the car today because if you remember i mentioned in my last vlog that somebody hit my car so need somebody to come out and get get it fixed but anyways happy monday i'm gonna keep the weekend vlog rolling until today and then we shall start a new one Unfortunately, my morning outside, my peaceful, quiet, journaling moment has been ruined because they decided to start doing construction right now. And it is so loud. Now I don't even know if my brain is going to be able to handle it. And on, an, on another note, the sun decided to go away. So that's peachy, but you know what? 
we're not gonna let that ruin our mood because I was doing my journaling session and sorry, I'm looking for my planner. One second. So I was doing my journaling session and no, I was not doing my journaling session yet. I've not done that yet. I was reading my devotional, which is by Lisa Harper. I love her. If you haven't listened to her, I highly recommend listening to her. She's so good. And she was basically talking about how she was having like this perfect day with her daughter and she ended up taking her dog out and there was like this possum, no, yeah, a possum that came. Was it a possum? Yeah, a possum. And her dog ended up like chasing after it. It ran into the woods or something like that and she lives on like five acres of land. So it was like super late at night and super like sketchy. She runs after her dog and she gets like super dirty and super muddy and it kind of like ruined her evening and she was like freaking out because she was scared obviously it's nighttime she's worried that you know something happened to the dog this and that and then she gets home and she says i lamented not having a hunky flannel shirt wearing husband like some of the fictional dudes we just watched on the hallmark channel to rescue me from all the dirty work our wee format requires but after i opened the door missy realized it was actually her mommy and not some swamp monster under all that mud Gales of belly laughter jerked me back into the glorious miracle of everyday life. Once I'd showered, changed into clean pajamas, and Maggie was snuggled up and snoring away in her crate, I sensed God whisper, do you really want to change this life I've lavished you with? And I sheepishly whispered back, no sir, no way. We all get a teensy bit frustrated about life's little inconveniences, but there's no way I'm going to let a possum take off with my piece again. And then there are like these three points that she puts out and she says, what little foxes, aka possums, are threatening to steal the bloom of peace from your life? Have you asked God for wisdom regarding how to best send them scurrying back to the proverbial woods? What special moments or experiences jerk you back into the glorious miracle of everyday life? I just thought this was so good because I am somebody who always gets so derailed by the most minor inconveniences of everyday life where I used to be and that is something that I have been actively trying to change about myself because I just I don't want to be that person who allows her joy to be stolen by you know the most minuscule things it's such a good reminder for example don't let a messy house ruin my week i know that i woke up to a messy house today i know that i couldn't jump straight into work and i had to like clean and like i was irritated but that's i'm not gonna let that ruin my peace i'm not gonna let that ruin my week or for example the construction yes this is i think the second or third week that they're doing this i have no idea what they're doing am i gonna let that disrupt my peace am i gonna let that ruin my everyday life like there's so much good in everyday life like why let these minor things completely control us into being grumpy or upset or frustrated or irritated or moody and then i started reading my bible and it said a hot-tempered man stirs up strife but he who is slow to anger quiets contention contention means like a disagreement so it's literally saying a hot-tempered man a person who is hot-tempered a person who is angry stirs up strife they cause drama but the person who is slow to anger is able to quiet disagreements and i just thought that was so good I don't know this is like something that i really just i just want to do that i just i don't want to be the kind of person that gets angry all the time that is irritated all the time that is upset about the most minuscule things i just and it's funny because i used to be like that i used to it would be 7 8 a.m and i'd already like i'd say things like my day's ruined i'm done today sucks because of something so minuscule I look back at that and I'm like, how could you live like that? And nowadays, whenever I see people or associate with people who are doing the same thing, I'm like, why are you living like that? Like, why? Like, it's it's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to benefit you in any way. And you're just causing grief to the people that are around you, you know? But anyways, now I'm going to journal. And then after that, I'm going to get to editing. Just came home from the gym and clearly Target. Let me show you what I got. I just got a couple of things that we were running very low on and we actually didn't even have paper towels. So I picked those up. These were on sale. I'm about to start a period in like, I think like a week. 
so these are definitely gonna come in handy. Cotton rounds, because we're out. Foil, because we're out. Coconut aminos, because we're out. Witch hazel, because I'm out. These, because I was out. So I'm gonna be making the protein shake that I mentioned that I wanted to make after my workout, and I'm going to be trying out this earth chimp protein which is vegan and i'm very excited to try it out all the ingredients are great berries boot camp has a really really good smoothie bar and my favorite shake that i used to get there was called the mochalicious so i'm essentially going to be recreating that using my own ingredients and putting my own spin on it so let's try this out it smells incredibly chocolatey like deliciously chocolatey so i kind of have extremely high hopes for this I'm just going to measure it out to make sure that I get all the protein. This is going to be 20 grams of protein for one serving. There's also no scoop in here, which is nice because you don't have to worry about the plastic. The banana is definitely going to make it extremely creamy and delicious. Then I'm going to do cold brew. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of cacao powder to make it extra chocolatey, just a tiny bit. I'm going to add a date, two dates, peanut butter, tablespoon, and then I'm also going to add some coconut water for potassium and extra antioxidants. So it's going to be like a coconut mochalicious shake. It already looks delicious. Look at how chocolatey that is. That's delicious. 20 grams of protein down the hatch. All right, if you are looking for a good quality vegan protein, I definitely recommend checking out Earth Chimps. The link is in my description box. It's hard to find a good vegan protein because a lot of them will have like bad additives and whatnot. This one's good, so definitely check it out. I'm gonna get started on dinner and I want to make like a unique burrata salad when I say unique I just mean my own version of it oh also yeah don't look at that that's gross I'm trying to let it heal so I'm gonna make wings Japanese sweet potatoes and like a little tomato slash burrata salad and I kind of want to add peaches in it so anyways let's let's get to cooking first and foremost I'm gonna wash my Japanese sweet potatoes and pop them into the air fryer since those will take the longest. Then I'm gonna marinate my chicken wings and pop those in the oven. Japanese sweet potato has seriously become like my favorite potato. I'm going to do two of these and then I'll save these for next time. I also poke like a couple of holes in the potato. I feel like these will get done fairly fast just because they are a lot smaller than the ones that we normally have. And honestly, I feel like I should make three because I feel like that is too small for me high. So also going to cook this one up. Okay, I'm also in the mood to have like a little drink. So I think I have something special in my fridge. Love, love, love this drink. This tastes like Sprite to me. So good. Cheers. I have my bowl of chicken wings and I actually ended up cutting them in half. So it's like wing and drumstick. Olive oil, I'm just gonna drizzle it. And then I'm gonna use some coconut aminos. Just drizzle it a little, a little bit. For the seasoning, we're gonna do Johnny's seasoning. This is amazing, this stuff is amazing period and I do a pretty generous amount. I'm gonna do a little bit of onion powder today. They're always like a little bit different but the same like base. Cumin, hot paprika, we're literally out and I need to immediately find more. I'm going to do a touch of cayenne. Oh no, I swear I'm spilling everything today. I just spilled a bunch of taco seasoning that's gonna take a minute to clean up, so that's nice, but it's fine. We're not letting minor inconveniences ruin our day. I'm going to use this pepper, a generous amount. Now I'm just gonna mix it up and then place it, and then I will do the same with the rest. That's the mess I made, and these are the wings, and they are going into the oven. 
We're going to bake them for 20 minutes and then we're gonna flip them. We're gonna be using a peach and these delicious sugar bomb tomatoes. They are the absolute best. I don't know what it is, but they're very flavorful. And of course, burrata. Okay, I'm just gonna slice everything up and and then and then while I'm slicing, I'm gonna be thinking about how to make it really good. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna slice up these tomatoes. Now for the burrata. Just a touch of oregano. I feel like this would have been just so good. If I had some basil, this would have been Phenomenal or any kind of greenery. I added a little bit of sage just for color. Okay, I made a little crouton If this is not a work of art, I don't know what is Okay, I've taken sufficient photos of this And the wings are still cooking the Japanese sweet potato is still cooking, but I want to do a taste test My idea was to use the croutons as kind of like a way to pick everything up so a little bit of burrata and a tomato the peaches are huge so i should have cut them smaller oh my croutons are the way to go let's try peach with burrata that's delicious so good would you like to come try this mihai it's not really how you do it come hither All right, the wings are stunning. I'm about to cut our Japanese sweet potatoes in half, and I'm going to add butter and salt. That's how we normally like to have them. And we're gonna turn on a show, I think, and just have dinner and eat. And then I'm going to get some work done as well. So that will conclude today's video or this weekend's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. And I'll show you the final product as well.